Back to the I-Team now. County Commission Chairman across North Georgia are speaking with one voice about a state-approved practice that they say is harming their communities. It deals with the often overwhelming stench that comes from dumping food processing waste, largely from poultry plants on farmland. Fox 5 I-Team reporter Randy Travis has been looking into the challenges critics of this practice face. Randy. Well, Courtney, you know the old adage, you can't fight City Hall. Well, imagine you're a local government leader used to calling the shots only to discover there's actually someone you can't fight. Georgia lawmakers defending some of our state's biggest industries. Once you smell it, it's unlike anything you've ever smelt before. From Madison County, they're getting paid to dump a product that somebody else doesn't want. To Elbert County. Why have they got to go so far, you know, to these rural counties? It makes no sense. To Wilkes and Oglethorpe counties. So they don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. And we can't tell you exactly what it is. Local leaders are unified in their anger about this. The practice of hauling liquefied animal processing waste, like blood or rinse water from inside the factory, and spraying the mixture on fields across rural Georgia because some consider it a substitute for fertilizer. That's why it's called soil amendment. These elected leaders call it something else. I call it industrial waste. So what does state law say? It provides specific protection for soil amendments, forbidding local governments from any regulation. No wonder the debate over how best to grow has now become a growing stink. In June, a soil amendment spill in Wilkes County is blamed for the death of nearly 1,700 fish in a nearby river. In 2020, another spill led to a $5,000 fine in Hall County. And in Oglethorpe County, a farmer had to pay $21,000 after state inspectors discovered feet, heads, and other body parts of very young chickens piled up on land near a neighborhood, Donna Blanton's neighborhood. It was very wrong for the company to deliver it, and it was wrong for the farmer to even consider putting it out on the ground. Blanton watched tankers roll constantly up and down her road. She had no idea what they were dumping until she saw the pictures from the EPD. But this smell never, never left. It smells like death. So Blanton did something few others have tried. She's suing the farmer and all those companies involved in the dumping of that soil amendment. In court filings, they've each denied doing anything wrong. It's not right for someone not to be able to enjoy their own yard if you can't have a, a birthday party for a grandchild or for your own kid because of the flies and the smell. They need to find another solution. Instead, state lawmakers moved to tighten the rules so local government could not regulate industrial byproducts. The sponsor of that bill, Senator Tyler Harper, now the Republican nominee for Georgia Agriculture Commissioner. Harper did not respond to repeated attempts for comment. Farming is very important in the state of Georgia, and so farmers have a lot of, a lot of legal uh, power. And so we can't regulate anything that's approved by the Department of Ag. The Department of Agriculture does require the provider of all soil amendments be registered, disclose what's in the tanks, and self-test the soil both before and after for any potential harm. They're also supposed to cover up the liquid within an hour of putting it on a field. We watched this company till up the soil, then spray the soil amendment, leaving the smelly substance exposed. He did not till it under. It left a powerful smell. Well, they're dumping waste. What are they farming? Nothing that we know of. No one tracks where it's being dumped or limits how much. The proposed rules are currently open for public comment until August 15th. But these commission chairmen fear their hands will always be tied, frustrating because they're going to need them to hold their nose. If a landfill was coming into our county, you can bet that my 30,000 voters would have a say in it. But today on this, they don't have a say. Again, the public has until next Monday to comment on the proposed new rules for soil amendments. We've also posted a link that they can use. It's in our web script for this story on our website. Well, it clearly showed the video that you captured there when you were out there. You see them spraying the soil amendment, not covering over right. it like they are supposed to do. Is the Department of Agriculture responding to that particular piece of video? We sent them a picture of it and we asked them, hey, is this is this being done right? And we asked them several times and got no response. So if they do have a response, we'd love to know about it. But uh, for some reason, they're not commenting on this. Well, is, is soil amendment the, the worst euphemism ever? I mean, just call the stuff what it is. It's well, just gross. It's been around for a long time, the term soil amendment, but that was used when you were talking about, uh, you know, wait, like a chicken 
poop, for lack of a better term, right? right? You know, right. animal waste that, that is fertilizer. And then it's just sort of grown into an encapsulated other stuff right. uh, that they also put down the soil that may or may not be good for it. We just don't know. Or and, natural. Right. right, or natural. Because this could be a mix of both organic and inorganic materials. Because some of the, uh, the neighbors say that it smells like a chemical to them. It doesn't smell like traditional farm waste. Interesting. All right. Randy, thanks. Okay. Thanks, Randy.